Chua, let's go to your kennel. Good boy. Good boy. Good dog. Hey guys, back here with Tua for another video. This video, I'm going to talk to you guys about crates, why I act absolutely love them, why I think every single dog owner of any breed, not just Bull Mastiff, should get one, and just kind of how I use them and how I view them. So if you're interested in learning more about crates, stick around. Okay guys, so we actually had to upgrade Tua's crate uh, just a couple of weeks ago. So I've kind of been thinking about crates a lot lately and I made a video about them a long time ago, you know, when this channel was very new and Tua was still pretty young. But I thought it'd be nice to just kind of hit on the topic of crates again. The last one we had, we had for almost 10 years. It was uh, our previous dogs, who was a Doberman Pinscher. And we used that one for Tua as well, and he kind of just simply outgrew it. He's a little bit taller than our Doberman was, and a lot heavier, and it just kind of seemed like it was starting to get a little bit small for him. So we went ahead and upgraded. Uh, we just got this one off of Chewy. Uh, it's 49 inches long, 31 inches wide, and 33 inches tall. So it's a little bit bigger in all directions. Not a whole lot, but it, it, that little bit made a big difference for Tua. Um, he fits in this one much nicer. As you can see, he can pretty much completely lay out the other one. It was kind of starting just to get a little bit cramped, a little bit tight. So I want to do an upgrade. Um, we got this one for $99, and it looks like the price actually went up. So these crates, they're definitely not cheap. But like I said, if you take care of them, the one that we had before, that one's 10 years old, and it was still fine. It just was getting to be a little bit small, too. It was just growing a little bit too much. Um... But as far as crates go, for whatever reason, they seem to be very controversial. I had no idea how controversial they were until I started doing this YouTube channel. And the amount of hate that I get from people was, I mean, very shocking and eye-opening. I mean, people act like this is dog abuse to put your dog in here. And uh, as you can see, he was very excited to go in there. We make the crate in a very nice and positive place. As you can see, he's completely cool now. The only way that I could even consider this um, dog abuse is if you just let your dog in there all day, every day, pooping on themselves, peeing on themselves. And uh, I suppose some terrible people do, but. If you're using the crate properly, this is just a normal part of dog ownership and a responsible part of dog ownership, at least in my opinion. I mean, I just don't really see how you can get away without having a crate, especially when the dog's young, because, I mean, unless you're home 24-7, you're going to have to leave the house at some point, and if this dog isn't potty trained or anything yet, and he's still teething and wanting to chew on everything, how are you going to let that dog just run around your house? Uh, and not have any issues and and that's a big reason for using a crate is when they're young if you don't want to use a crate then don't but uh, I mean the amount of people that just go crazy over crates and the accusations that get thrown out because I use crates is not just me I mean all kinds of people that just absolutely take your head off for using a crate when it's a perfectly normal and responsible part of being a dog owner they just make life so much easier for you and the dog, especially at a young age with potty training, um, when they're chewing on stuff in the house. I just, I can't believe that people don't take advantage of using crates and all the benefits that they have. So basically, I just want to very quickly go over how I use the crate, how I think about it. From a very young age, I make the crate a very, very positive place for the dog. 
every single time they go in the crate, they get a treat, they get heavy praise. Uh, I try to make it as comfortable as possible. You can put a dog bed in there. I just tend to use blankets for the most part. As you can see, just got a couple blankets in there for Tua. And uh, I usually have at least a, one chew toy in there for him as well. You know, he's in here for several hours during the day. So you, you don't want him to just sleep the entire time unless he wants to. Just at least give him the opportunity to have a chew toy of some sort. And uh, just make sure that it's something that the dog's not going to be able to choke on because if they're in the crate, generally you're away from them. You're not going to be able to see if something goes bad. So definitely make sure that it's something big enough that they're not going to choke on in a worst case scenario type of thing. But basically the crate or the kennel, it's their bedroom. Um, so you want it to be as comfortable for them as possible and make it a nice positive place. Just like for your own kid, if you have a bedroom for your kid make it comfortable, make it a positive place for them. As far as like timeouts go, the crate is like a good spot for a timeout, kind of just like if you send your kid to your room. But again, going back to keeping it a positive place, you never want to make the crate like, I'm trying to think of the way to say this. You never want to put them in the crate like when you're absolutely angry with them and throw them in there kind of thing uh, to make it a negative place. Because like I said, you always want it to be positive as two is chewing on his blanket there. Hey, don't do that, buddy. Um, so even if like, especially during the puppy times, like two and not so much anymore, we don't really get frustrated with him too often. But when he's a puppy, there's times when he's chewing on stuff or being wild and you just need a break. And that's what's great with the crate. Give him a chew toy, give him a treat, put him in their crate for a little bit. If you need a break and kind of give them a little time out. But when you're doing this, make it positive put them in there tell them good boy good girl heavy praise give them their treat give them their chew toy and then you can take a second to go uh just get a break from the dog and that's just one reason why they're so great um one of the biggest reasons i feel that you need a crate is with potty training i have crate trained a dog since i was probably eight nine years old to me it's the best and only way to potty train a dog by putting them in the crate. Uh, if they haven't gone to the bathroom, they go in there for, you know, like a 15 minute increment, get them outside. If they go potty, then they can have some free play. And uh, you just kind of do that. If you're not able to watch them, they need to be in the crate until they've gone to the bathroom. I did make a video on exactly how I potty train a while ago. And that one goes into much more detail and depth. So I would just recommend watching that one if you want to see exactly how I crate train and potty train a dog. But uh, it's very, very simple, and it's it's always worked great for me uh, very quickly. But uh, the reason why the crates work so great for that is because the dog will not go to the bathroom in that crate unless they absolutely have to, because they don't want to lay in their own urine or poop. So the best way to do that, too, is like right now, Tua, you know, he, he kind of takes up most of this crate, so he wouldn't pee or poop in there because he's not gonna wanna lay in it. But these crates come with these divider walls here. So if you're getting a puppy, just get a big one like this, is what I would recommend, and then use that divider wall. Because you shrink that size down, even you know if he's a 20 pound dog, you'll shrink that size down so much, because the reason you wanna do that is so that they, like I said, they're not gonna wanna lay in their own pee and poop. So if you shrink the crate size down, if they say you're right here forward they'd have to be laying in that pee or poop where if you have no divider wall in there they can just simply walk to like this back corner go pee and then come back lay down over here so you want that crate size compressed down to a smaller size until the dog's completely potty trained but i have found no better tool for potty training than the use of a crate so highly recommend it for that as far as what kind of crate to get, as far as like the style goes, I've always liked these big wire ones. Um, it's just easier for me to see the dog. The dog can see me better, but anything will really do. They also kind of make those big plastic type ones uh, with the, the, the wire door. Actually, our little min pin here, I'll go show you her crate quickly. So, that's the plastic one that I'm talking about with the wire door. Those those work great too, um, but I, I tend to just like these bigger wire ones. 
but uh, that plastic one we've had for so long. But uh, like I said, any of them will do. And the setup we have is he's just in our room next to our bed. And uh, that's, that's just what works best for potty training, more specifically when the dog's young, because if he's got to go to the bathroom, you're going to be able to hear him whining and stuff. And uh, once they're potty trained, you know, go ahead and move the crate wherever you want. But we just always tend to leave it be right here in our room next to our bed. And that's just kind of what we do with our dogs. But uh, the ultimate goal of these crates is just to have a nice, nice safe place for the dog where he can be alone, uh, where he's not going to ruin anything in your house, and he can't hurt himself either. Nice, comfortable place. And uh, after a year or two, you might not even need the crate anymore. But I've always found that all of my dogs enjoy using them their entire life. Like even when we give them free reign of the house, a lot of the time Tua will just kind of come up in here and lay in it or previous dogs as well. Like I said, it just kind of becomes their nice little safe, comfortable place like their bedroom if you for your kid. Uh, and as you can see, he doesn't mind it at all. Like I said, he'll just go in there, hang out when the door is open sometimes. So definitely not a negative thing at all. I, I'm not really too sure where all the hate came from um, with crates. I, like I said, I mean, I guess you could use it as some form of abuse for the dog, but it, when you're using it properly in the way they're intended, crates are a great, great tool for any dog owner. I can't recommend them enough. Uh, remember, if you can put your kid in a crib, you can put your dog in a crate. It's essentially the same thing. And like I said, I've been crate training my dogs for basically my entire life. I've never had an issue with them. Uh, very experienced as far as crate training goes. Ask me any questions down there in the comments section. Um, give me hate if you'd like as well. I, I guess I don't really care. Um, and if you don't want to use a crate, then don't use a crate. I, I'm a big advocate for you doing whatever you want to do with your dog as long as you're not hurting the dog. And. Uh, you know, but it, it's going to make your life easier. Just do some research and look into crates. And uh, I would really encourage you to get one and use it the right way. And I just think it makes for a better life for, for not only you, but the dog as well. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, really do appreciate it. Again, if you have any questions, let me know. And as always, take care.